Representative Bischoff is here as well. <laughs> Former Representative Celeste is here. First of all, could you join me in giving our physicians a round of applause for being here today? to the legislature, I thought evidence-based policies would create bipartisanship in the General Assembly. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was wrong about that. You see, I've been a healthcare attorney for over a decade now. I, I put physician practices together. I represent doctors in almost every single state in the United States. It's my job to make sure that they're able to do their job. And so I give them advice on federal law, I give them advice on state law, we've got folks coming out of the residency programs here in the state of Ohio, where it's my job to say, we're looking at a number of different contracts, we need to make sure that we get you to the best place to provide the best services for your patients. Now you would think that after they've gone through undergrad and medical school, residency, and many of them on the fellowship training, that the people of the state of Ohio would recognize these are our real experts. When your wife or daughter or mother or sister or friend goes into their office, you want that relationship to be one that is based upon medical science where the individuals who are there and trained are able to make sure that they are making decisions that are in the best interest of the patients based upon their training. You don't want them to be looking over their shoulder and saying, now if I give my patient the right advice based upon medical science, Am I going to go to prison? Am I going to have a lawsuit brought against, against me even though I've done what was right? Because now I've got to decide between my medical ethics and what the Ohio Revised Code says. And unfortunately, what we have happening here in Ohio is a bunch of individuals who are very uninformed about health care. One of the lead folks in the General Assembly who is pushing these laws bottles water for, for a living. Did not go to medical school, is not trained to provide health care services, but this individual has more say over what sort of care you're going to get when you go in your physician's offices than these individuals who have delivered thousands and thousands of babies here in the state of Ohio. And so what I want to say to you, whether you're here today or you're listening in, is that the physician-patient privilege is a sacred one. Decisions that we make should be evidence-based decisions based upon, upon sound science and sound medicine, and we should leave the doctoring to those who have taken the time to get the skills and be able to look out for the best interests of our citizens, and those are the obstetricians and gynecologists in the state that have actually done the training. Thank you very much.